welcome to another exciting episode of Duck the Electronic Repair Bench. Alright, but it's been about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two, I don't know. Getting some parts off this board there are the main ones I got. Quite a few electrolytics. I got some disc capac capacitors, a, uh, is it a mica, whatever, a uh, resistor, a transistor, another transistor over there. So, um, retiring for the evening. I just wanted to get some of this done while I wasn't doing anything else. So, I'll put this on another video. I don't know what I'll put it on, but it'll be on something. Uh, good morning, YouTube. Here with you on this uh, Wednesday morning. Um, I thought that I would go through and or, uh, sort through these harvested parts and put them in some kind of order. Right now, I'm just uh, taking out the electrolytic capacitors, and I may go a little bit differently with this. Uh, some of these bigger ones, you know, I, I can put them in that that. Uh, in the drawer but they're going to fill up pretty quick if I use if I have very many of them and I do have a few of them so. uh, we will see what we will see I guess so that's probably what I'm doing just got a text better get that and see what's going on there so be back in a bit alright I have the uh, electrolytics separated that's pretty good uh, that'll, they'll fit in there alright I can just take and dump the drawer on the bench and look see what I want and then put them back in the drawer it's not a big deal uh, I mainly I'm using these harvested parts for uh, experimental stuff now I will be using them for things like the Juliet uh, radio to recap it there's no sense to me in using new caps for stuff like that these are much much better than what's in there and uh, I think those will be fine uh, next I'm going through and getting the transistors out. Oh, there's one one more electrolytic I didn't see. So, like I say, that's what I'm doing. Just uh, separating all these parts out of this big, big, big bin that I had. And uh, we'll uh, have them all separated into smaller bins. And they'll be much better off. So, or I'll be much better off. Somebody will be better off. I'm not sure. Anyway, that was my daughter on the text. Uh, she was just... Kind of uh, rubbing it in that I start my new winter job today, picking up her daughters, her stepdaughters, I should say, from school, and uh, that will be nice. So, anywho, let's uh, let's get off here and get some work done. And I, I want, I said I want. Now, here's what I want to do: is get back to this. I was. Sent it. Robert an email this morning told him that's what we're going to be doing. But then I got in here and started looking at this, and I thought, you know, might better get some of this stuff out of the way. So that's what I'm doing, and I will eventually get to the uh, transmitter. Uh, my my plan for that transmitter is, by the way, to make a bigger bigger coil. So I got to thinking about the one that. Uh, uh, Rick McWhorter used on his and it was quite a bit bigger. It was wrapped around a double A battery So that's quite a bit bigger. So anyway, you guys uh, I will be back and uh, Checking in here in a little bit. So stay tuned Now right, we're down to uh, let's say I have the e-caps. I have the uh, semiconductors and I have the other caps uh, the rest of this stuff is pretty much, now there's a few resistors, I, I have some variable resistors up there, I'm going to put them in a, probably their own, uh, drawer. Um, the, uh, things I have left, the resistors I'm trying to sort into the resistors, because resistors, if they're, you know, I, I, when I, when I use a resistor, I always check the value anyway, so if they don't measure up, then I can throw them out or whatever I need to do with them then so um, that's why I'll and if they're good they're good I mean <laughs> you know just like a brand new one it's not really any difference so um, I have a few other parts over here to to mess with I got some old coils that I've made 
Um, anywho, I'm uh, going to do that and get this all done and cleared up and out of my way. I'm probably label these, I think I'm going to label that uh, harvested parts and then just put the labels on the drawers of what's in there like e-caps, uh, semiconductors, uh, caps, other, whatever. This other stuff here, uh, I think I'm going to just put one of those big drawers and label it uh, odd parts or something. Uh, so, so, so I'll have uh, access to it and know where, uh, where, about where it's at. That's all I really need. So, Anywho, that ought to do that. I, I don't know that I'm going to do any more harvesting today. Uh, that board there is... There's a few things on there I'd like to have, but uh, like the transistor. Now there's a lot, of, a lot of transistors left on there, and those are a little bit more difficult to get off than the uh, capacitors because you can't just grab a hold of them and start heating them up. Uh, you can't hold on to them long enough to keep them to where they they're ready to come off. So now the e-caps, like I said, you could grab these and and heat one side and pull it out a little bit. And heat the other side, pull that out a little bit, and it would never heat up the cap at all. So that worked out rather well. I do have my soldering iron heating up, mainly for the uh, coil on that uh, transmitter. So that's going to come up. Let me get this done, and, and I'll, next time I bring you back, it'll be completely done. So I promise. All right, you can see I've increased the uh, size of the uh, coil quite a bit. That's uh, wrapped around a quarter inch drill bit. Here's what I have. Pretty stable, 188 megahertz. That's uh, <laughs> still way too high. I'm thinking maybe change out the cap next, just to see what that does. This is experiment experimentation, <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll find me another cap and put that in, and we'll go from there. I did do one thing different. I put the uh, coil on the bottom here. It's just a lot easier to tack it in when you're changing around like this. I was pretty much securely uh, soldering them in before, but this is just tacked in there to work to see what it does. So that's what we're doing. So back in a minute. All right, what we've got in there now is a 0.33 microfarad. I went the, the, totally the other way, and just to see what a drastic change would be. And there is a result. We're running at 167 now. So, that's the right direction, but not very much change for the amount of uh, capacitance I put in there. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we're going to try to pursue something else. So. Uh, obviously, the coil size is, is uh, going to have to be changed again, but uh, I don't know exactly how <laughs> I'm going to have to go bigger. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to look at. So, anywho, let's keep going. All right, what I got now is a four turn coil, same size. Um, everything else is the same. This is what we got. It went up. So I'm going the wrong direction, obviously. So we're going to try some more different coils and go from there. So we'll get back. I think I'm going to take a break and go get the girls here in a bit. And uh, I'll get back with you. Alright, going to end this uh, video on this uh, note. We <laughs> I know I get in these uh, moods to do certain things and, you know, certain times of day and whatever that's what I've been doing I've been using my uh, solder extractor pull it whatever you want to call it um, to get a lot of these transistors off and use it you can see I've still got a bunch more to do uh, I got some uh, coil a few resistors some transformers here these these are like IF transformers I don't know that they are IF transformers but they look just like them for transistor radios so I've got those. Um, probably the, the rest of the things I get uh, off here will be 
the capacitors and the uh, resi or transistors. Um, I don't know. There's some. There's a few more resistors left. I think they're eighth watt. They're not very big. Um, so, not really sure what I'm going to do with those. We'll see. And I still have a board or two on down here to mess with. So, I, I just like I said, I get in the mood to do this stuff, and this is why I do it. So this is going to, like I say, end this video. I'm waiting on my landlord to come in, pick up landlord's wife to come in and pick up the rent check. And it's a beautiful day right now, but they're predicting rain, so who knows what that'll turn out to be. So you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks so much for watching. And we will see you.